Okay, so this is the sketch I'm working with this week. And on this sketch, there are three small photos and a big title block at the bottom. So I'm kind of taking that and I'm going with it. I'm working with the Sunny Days collection as well as the September 2016 exclusive kit. And I love the background paper on this one. It's kind of um, low key, it's, it's not too in your face. So I'm using it as I would do some white paper, but it just adds a bit more pattern to my layout. And I'm also adding another of the Sunny Days papers, the, the Wave paper. And I've just cut a little strip of that at the bottom, and I've cut another strip of it at the top. Because I'm going to, as I would normally do with just plain white cardstock, I'm going to frame it on the top and the bottom and it's going to be a bit more bottom heavy. So there's that. I have my photos printed out at 2 inches by 3 inches. So they're quite small, but that means I can fit 3 photos on an 8.5 by 11 inch layout. So these photos are all from a boat day that we had recently. Um, and I've just gone and grabbed a few of the tags, the three inch by four inch tags from my kit. And I love the patterns in these tags, but I don't necessarily need the words. So what I've done is I've just cut them in half and I am cutting them in half and attaching my photo to the top just so that the pattern shows on the top and the bottom. So I'm using them as I would do pieces of pattern paper here. And this month's kit has a lot of really cool patterns on the tag, so try this out. Next time you're looking for just the right pattern, just look in your kit. And I've made sure that they're all the roughly the same size so that you know they they look pretty similar. So this one here is actually, I'm just sizing it up here just to make sure I have the sizing right. This one here is actually two different tags. And I'm just trying to see where I need to adhere the little bit of the second tag. It's about three and a quarter inches high, if I remember correctly. So I just put that, that strip of teal from a different tag on the top of, of this striped tag. And I'm going to pop my photo on there. And I want to make sure that orange is showing because I really like the addition of orange with the teal and the navy. Okay, so I've cut um, one of these September die cut files out with a sunny days the navy blue paper and this is the the best ever cut file and what I'm going to do with this is use it as the large title block at the bottom so I'm going to actually stamp on a piece of white cardstock in the middle and also add my journaling at the same time so first I'm going to just measure it so I know how big of a piece of cardstock I need here Okay, here's my cardstock already cut, and I will notch out the edges in just a moment, but I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of my title. So the title is going to be Best Ever Boat Day.
Okay, I'm going to stamp this with teal, and I'm going to stamp the whole thing all at once. Obviously, I only have one A. Um, I'm just going to do a practice run here just to make sure it is stamping okay. I only have one A, so I'll have to go back and add the second A in after the, the initial stamp. Okay, I've done my practice round, so I'm going to go ahead and stamp it on. This isn't that big of a deal because I can always just cut a piece, another piece of white cardstock. But I'm still trying to get it centered on the first try. And I'm going to put it towards the top because I'm going to add my type journaling to the bottom. Okay, so that's done. I just forgot to go ahead and add my A back to the word day. So I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly. There we go. Okay, there's my title. I've also notched out the edges just using um, a standard small hole punch just so that it matches the, the die cut behind it. Okay, I'm going to go through my kit here to see what kinds of embellishment I can add from the kit. I have these really cute wood veneers, so I'm going to throw a couple of those on there. The photo of my daughter in the center is, is pretty much my favorite, so I'm going to put the loved this thing there. And in the initial layout in the sketch, there are a lot of little tags around the layout, so I'm just going to kind of do that. And when I'm choosing my smaller embellishments, I'm mainly looking for color because I want to kind of bring those colors from the patterns behind my photos, kind of make triangles of color all around my layout so that there's a lot of movement happening. So I'm pulling out tags that are orange and, and gray mostly because I have already a lot of navy blue and teal all around. Okay, so I've printed my journaling out onto the piece of white cardstock that I stamped on and I'm going to go ahead and add that to my title block here. And I want this whole thing to be um, three-dimensional so I'm going to grab some dimensional adhesive and what I do I, I buy the Stampin' Up dimensional adhesive and they're little hexagons but around the edge of the paper there are you know the smaller shapes so I always keep those for little jobs like this so that I can you know stick these tiny pieces in and around the letters Okay, so there's my title block, and now I just have to arrange my photos up here. And make sure I have them, you know, in the right order sort of thing. I also want to use dimensional adhesive with these as well. I'm placing my tag in the center, my tag in my photo, straight, and then the photos and tags on the edges are going to be at a slight angle because it kind of gives it a playful feeling.
All right, I really like the way that looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and start adhering my wood veneer. This little gray heart is from the die cuts included in the kit this month. And if you can see to the right there, you can um, you can see that all of the die cuts are on a sheet together, which is quite nice. Um, this is from the September stamp. And it says, this is my happy place. And it's really simple to, to just cut out because it's straight lines. So I went ahead and stamped that in orange. And I'm going to stick it down on my title block down here. I wanted to add some orange to the bottom of the layout. So in the end, all I added was the little grouping on top of my left photo, um, which were the sunglasses, the circle tag from the kit, and the gray label sticker. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you like my feed, I'd love to see you subscribe and leave a comment. I'm always open to suggestions. Be sure to check out the Ellie Studio exclusive kits. You can find the link just below this video. Thanks and happy creating.